guys, we're back in this alley from Alley's Fun Magics, and today we're going to be using Gummy Candy Land, or its actual name is Gummy Candy Lab. Um, we're going to be using this today. I'm going to be doing a review on how good it is, and I think it's going to be pretty fun, because you're going to be making, I mean, I'm going to be making, like, my own my literally like my own gummies it's gonna be fun so yeah we got this this is a mold there's one thing i don't like i wish they would add to it they need like more molds because like different kinds of molds because they'd have rainbows that are different, um, put in different ways. But then they have clouds, and then they have rainbows that, I mean, unicorns that look all, that all look the same. So, if the person who created this, the company who created this is watching this video, can you please add, like, some different molds, like, not just unicorns, not just clouds, not just rainbows, maybe, like, a dog or something that'd be helpful so yeah these I'm gonna show you that was the first thing they're gonna have in this so it's I'm gonna show you all the bags of stuff that you're gonna have so you're gonna be having white mix gummy white gummy mix some sour mix that you throw on at the end you're gonna have yellow mix You're gonna have red mix. You're gonna have blue mix. Blue mix. And you're gonna have these little bags. You're gonna have labels. And yeah. You're gonna have all that. Today we're gonna be using the white gummy mix. You're gonna need three bowls. It doesn't matter what size, you just have to have three bowls. A normal big spoon. You're gonna need these. You might know what this is, parents. I don't. I know one's a teaspoon and one's a tablespoon. I think the teaspoon is this one and this is a tablespoon. I don't know. So I already poured the white mixture into here and then hot, hot water into there. So you're gonna need to take one of these, this big one, you're gonna need to get some of the mixture. Hello, please. I'm gonna have to use this spoon to like get the perfect amount. I don't know if this is good. I think it's pretty much good. You're gonna pour it into this bowl. No more after that. You're gonna take one, this one right here, of the hot water, gently pour it into that bowl. Then you're also gonna take another one of these, big ones, of water, and pour it into the bowl gently. Then after that, you're gonna mix it. Gently. I might make a lot of this. Seriously though, I might make a lot of these. I'm gonna make sour ones where I put them in a bag and shake them up with it when they're still like sticky. So yeah. Come on. really don't like making this much so we are done stirring this so we are going to pour it into the clouds because i mean clouds are white they can be black and gray sometimes but they're most of the time white
having a little bit extra. So I made four unicorns and now we're gonna let them set up for a few minutes. Well guys, this is my review on how it's gone so far. So I think it's a pretty good thing. I already told you what I didn't like that much about it, but I think it's turned out really well. It's kind of easy. I really like it. And we'll be back to see how they look when they're fully set up. So, guys, this is done. You're going to need a toothpick. I used the last one in the house. Uh, yeah, I tried it. It is so good. But I'm going to try it on cam, and I'm going to try the actual ones. I only tried one of the scrap pieces. So we're going to see how good this tastes. You might need a little bit of help when you're trying to get them out, because they're kind of hard to get out. So get some adult's help if you need it. Oh, no. I almost ripped off a leg. Ah. Come on. Oh no. Oh no, the unicorn's broken. I think the clouds are easier to get out. Because, do this. Got it. It looks super good. Oh, wow. It just went plop. I have two out, two clouds out. Trace around. These clouds are super easy to get out. I might end up making a lot of clouds. Okay. Ooh. It's good. I just think I know what I'm gonna do. Do 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 If you do the, get this and you do the unicorns, you might need a little bit of help because they're really hard to do for me. So, yeah. I might end up having ripped unicorns. Well, the unicorn's horn fell off, but he's okay. He's okay. By the way, when you get them, they're super sticky. Hmm. Tastes like sugar. Sour mix? Got it. So, yeah. I'm going to take a minute to read the instructions on what you do to put the sour mix on. And so, guys, I read the instructions and it says you want to use the Ziploc, the Ziploc bag. You don't want to put too much of it in or it will make them taste what gross oh that's a little Oof. I do have a lot of I think that's enough. I'll be back in a sec. I'm back. So, you're going to gently take your gummies, put them in the bag. It doesn't matter 
if they stick to the walls, just put them in the bag. These clouds look nice. Look, look at how good these clouds look. Perfect. Throw them in. Okay. 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 Then you're gonna zip the bag. Zip it, zip the bag. Okay, the bag is zipped. Then you're gonna wanna make sure all the air is out. So maybe open a teeny slit. All the air is out. Okay, now you're just gonna shake them up. Okay, I think that was a little too much fun. Um, some of them didn't get sour, like end up getting sour. So I'm gonna take the sour stuff that's left that didn't get picked up and throw them on top. And then flip it and put it on the board. Okay. Wait, there's one last one. Wait, all of it got used on them, so that's good. Uh, well, some got. So, yeah, I think that's good. Um, yeah, I'm going to clean this up. And, yeah. So, guys, I think this was a really good project to do for my channel. You should go check it out. We're going to try and put the link to their, um, to, like, where you can buy them the link and yeah we're gonna have comments on on this video because we're trying to get something so yeah i hope you had a fun time watching this video make sure you hit that like button subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss one of my new posted videos bye guys